Now then, ladies, I'm out again. Second time in a week, just down by the river. I'm going to head out of Mountain Southbound. So I've got to skip around Mountain, so it's down by the river, across the fields, and uh, we should be heading out near Great Dolby Way, which is south side of Mountain, if you like. Right, we've got it all in there, and it's an easier fit. Every time I put it in, it's getting easier. So let's party on. And I found a big woods on the map. I just got the map out. It's like, right. Oh, there's a big woods. I reckon they'll be room in that big woods for a little sharpie. So that's where we're going. It's six o'clock now. So I've got three hours before dark. Let's do it. Go. Have a go, go. Good girl. Good girl. Just wash the phone up on a post. I've got to the same place I did last time on my walk, <laughs> heading around Mountain. It's just too warm, isn't it? Oh, I nearly left my sunglasses at home, but it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow morning. So I'm quick to grab them on the way out and put them on top of my head. Bang the old jump on top of the bag out of the way. I've only been going about 20 minutes, half hour. I don't want to break out into a sweat too early. So we've just got a little section down the side of the main Leicester Road. And then we can cross the road and get to back in the fields. And we're just sneaking by the back end of Ikeffery Lakes. Dog thinks we're going fishing. It's just had a couple of drops of rain. Uh, don't look too promising, does it? But it's not supposed to rain until nine o'clock. We'll do a little shower. Dear me, look at that where I'm heading. Hopefully, I'll get that little bright, bright bit of sky. That's where I'm going. Yeah, we shouldn't have any rain until about nine o'clock tonight. A little shower, and then it's dry all night so ideal you'd never have thought it was the last week in May it's behaving like first week of April this week with the showers but that's what's enabled me to get a bit of time off off the farm and get out testing these boots getting the miles on them and if you can see the windmill but it's parked up it's windy enough we need to make some power Down. I don't know why, but all the sheep seem to be coming to look at my dog. She is desperate to go. Here. Here. Down. Sheep shit on your boots. Lovely. Just a few following me, eh? Look at that sky. Beautiful, but scary. They're circling around in front of the dog. Who's herding who? Safety in numbers, they're ganging up on her. Nah, she will be deaf for her. It's not like the bunny rabbits where she don't stand a chance. 
this is her job. Down. Down. When we're down the family farm, and you see the ones lagging behind that are lame, she'll catch them and hold them until you get there and you can square the feet up and give them some treatment. So she's the catcher on the farm. That's why she'll let them go. She's not too worried about rounding them up. She wants to catch one. You saying bye to your little sheepers? Say bye bye. Well, ain't that beautiful? Lovely colours. Just hear the birds over the rustle of the leaves in the wind. Only one thing to do, find somewhere nice to camp. Right, as I'm coming into the woods, I'm looking at these wet areas. Is there any fresh vehicle tracks on top? Is this an area that's going to be used quite a bit? There's a couple of foot, footprint there, look. A few animal tracks. There's a bit of flat glass on the track. Nothing major, it doesn't look like heavy use. You don't want to go and pitch up on somewhere that's used quite regular for gamekeeping or forestry commission. It'll be gamekeeping where I am. The pheasants aren't let out in the pens yet, so the gamekeepers are still at regular hours, if you like. They're not out and about in the middle of the night chasing the foxes and poachers. Someone's been busy stacking all them. Look at that sun peering through, ain't that beautiful? It's lovely, the colours in here, the greens and the... We've got the wildflowers, all the blues. It's only pale blue on this. It looks so more, much more vibrant. Right, I finally found the place in the middle of the woods. I'm literally, don't really know where I am in the woods, but we're here. So I'll get my bag off, we'll get set up. I've got to pitch the outside of my tent first this time. So, because the way I had them drying at home, I put them together, packed them away, sorry, separately. So we'll get them out. Um, so hopefully it'll be a bit easier doing them. They did it both together last time and I weren't quite sure where to put the pegs, so it was my fault. Not experienced enough. So yeah, let's crack on, get it done. Right, there we go. That's what she looks like. Nice. That bit looks tempting, but it just wasn't flat enough. So that's where we've got. You see what I mean by the door? You've only got the one tie back. It needs another tie back up here. Because it just flops down all the time and it ends up like that. I'm not going to enjoy the view with it like that, am I? Right. There's the rest of the stuff just chucked out the back. But there's the sunset over there. I might go through the trees in a bit and just have five minutes with the sunshine. It's gone nine o'clock at night and I can't believe how well the camera picks up the light. The sun's setting well set over there. Turn around and look at me and you can't see nothing. I've got in here my pot pasta. It's only the, uh, the cheap ones from little wherever that is. Look at that, snack shots. They're about 60p. I've got two of them in my thingy. And just boil some water and tip them 
you know, I tip the water into the bag or I tip the bag, two bags into my pot. And that'll fill me up quite nicely. The dog's out there roaming around, loving it. Peace out till the morning. It's just gone five o'clock in the morning. And that monk jack's been going for it for ages. Ain't it, puppy dog? But we've had a lovely snooze. Slept from about 11 till quarter to five, something like that. So loud though, that monk jack, so loud. Take care, girl. Is it being noisy? Right, well the kettle's calling for a brief, let's get that on. Someone's all excited. Still early in the morning. That's where my tent was. The monk jack was going for ages. Now we've got to get out of the woods in that direction. Let's get on them trails and get back to civilization. I couldn't have snuck out of the woods in a better place. That's where I came out. There's the yellow sign. <laughs> Into the beans we go. Woke up at, so we've been up an hour. I was up at just before five, just before six, and we're on the, on the trail. Lovely. There's the big woods I was in. I was down that end somewhere. And look at that, greeted with the sunshine. Well, it looks damn sight brighter in real life than it does through the camera. That is for sure. Let's enjoy this lovely morning. Lovely little pond at the bottom of the sheep field. The mother and two lambs snuggled up, look. Away. Up. How are you going to get over there then? Go on in. Away. Up. Up. Go on in. Not me. Get, it. get away. I'll go first, shall I? Up. Better. Wet leg time. Is there any problem, isn't it? Oh, the dew's not too bad at the minute. I walked through some beans earlier that wasn't as good as this. And me, uh, my legs, oh dear. That wet, I started to run down my legs on the inside. I've only got my summer trousers on, they're not very waterproof, really. Be nice if the uh, farmers sprayed them off a bit better. I think this is just foot traffic that's kept this down. Well, it looks like the railway's in for a bit of transformation. Somewhere, down there. Don't normally see that many machines all lined up. Green means go, red means stop. We better wait for the choo-choo train. There is the choo-choo train. That didn't take long. I stopped the video and then I had to start it again. I heard the train coming. Sit down, dog. Sit. Wait there. Let's get over this crossing. Oh no, that's the train crossing done. Just down by the river now. The river section and then back up through the outing estate and I'll have made it home. Get my wet trousers off. Definitely summer trousers, not designed for the thick dew that we've had this morning. But they're soon dry, they're dry and my knees are drying already, so they they dry quick if I was out all day, it wouldn't be much of a problem. There's a bit of, I'm on top of the bridge, look. There we go, we'll get a bit of scenic in for the finish. 
I'll sign off now and get up, get up home. So if you'd like to give me a, a like and a subscribe, that'd be nice. Build the channel a little bit. If you've watched it this far, you must be mad. Right, carry on cruising. We'll see you soon.